everybody uh, uh ego the visual culturist back again gonna be reacting to a few uh movie trailers that dropped recently uh one of them being the french dispatch um yeah so the french dispatch uh <clears throat> this is another uh wes anderson film and if you don't know anything about uh wes anderson he is a he's a he's a very I don't want to. Well, maybe he's niche. I get the feeling. I've always assumed he's very niche. He's he's very talented. He does a lot of kooky kind of indie uh, films. They're more about uh, the characters and their their circumstances and a really good story. Uh, they're no, they're not. Say let's save the world and explosions and action. Although there can be some action, but um, if you've ever seen uh, the Royal Tenenbaums, the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. Uh, I'm trying to miss, fantastic, fan, yeah, fantastic Mr. Fox, he did that. Moonrise Kingdom, I love that one. Grand Budapest Hotel. Um, and then I think his latest one was The Isle of Dogs, and it was all stop motion. Loved that. He's really, he's, he's a really brilliant, um, film, film director. He, uh, he always gets a good, a good cast of characters, and they're always, they're just, they're, you know, kooky good fun. They're, they're just good movies. They're happy, for the most part, happy, like, happy-go-lucky. <laughs> but, um, yeah, The French Dispatch is his latest film, and, um, I, I wouldn't say I'm, like, a, I'm, like, a huge fan of his, but I watch his movies, and I'm like, yeah, that was good. I see why people like this. <laughs> they're always shot well, and they're, they're, uh, they're, he kind of has a, his, his, his own aesthetic and it's everyone's like okay yeah this is you you'll know it's one of his movies if you see it and like who's this guy what does he do but um yeah uh i don't know too much about the french dispatch um i'd be interested to see who who's in it this time he like i said he always has a, a good um a good cast of characters i think um bill murray's and in, in a few of his movies actually um uh so they have they have a good uh they're kind of like Adam Sandler and his friends. He's they're in a bunch of movies, uh, but well, let's let's dive right into us and uh, let's see how it looks. It began as a holiday. Eager to escape a bright future on the Great Plains, Arthur Howitzer Jr. transformed the series of travelogue columns into the French Dispatch, a factual weekly report on the subjects of world politics, the arts, high and low and diverse stories of human interest. You don't think it's almost too seedy this time? No, I don't. Ah, there's Bill people. Murray. It's supposed to be charming. He assembled a team of the best expatriate journalists of his time. Berenson, Sazerac, oh, Fremens, it is Owen Wilson. Roebuck Wright. Oh, the Swansons in this? Just try to make it sound like you wrote it that way on purpose. We take as the subject of tonight's lecture, Mr. Moses Rosenthal. Ah, Benicio del Toro. The loudest artist oh, fragile's there. His rowdy generation. <laughs> Simone naked yep. cell block J hobby room. I want to buy it. It's not for sale. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. In short, the picture was a sensation. There she is, fragile. So is um the Fonz. The kids did this. Obliterated a thousand years of Republican authority in less than a fortnight. What do they want? Freedom. That used to be my Full hair stop. every day. <laughs> I'm naked, Mrs. Cremens. I can see that. Hmm. Lieutenant Nescafier is the great exemplar of the mode of cuisine known as police cooking. Was that, um... The aromas of the kitchen... The Green Goblin? Spell, What's his which name? was to be uh, mortally broken. As you know by now, we have kidnapped your son. Oh, oh, the Green Goblin. Oh, fragile. Last of the... Okay, here we go. And so this one's Timothy Gunn. Yeah, that fragile. Owen Wilson. The Murray. <laughs> Yep. A message from the foreman. One hour to press. You're fired. Really? Don't cry in my office. <laughs> <laughs> no crying. All right. I'm sold. All right. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> definitely a lot of Wes Anderson style shooting. Um, 
he has the the way he shoots certain things are definitely his signature. So that's, I mean, he hasn't stopped doing it. So why would he stop doing it now? But that's good. I, I'm. It seems to be like a, a series of short stories. I don't know if they interlock or if they affect one another, but or if they're gonna run congruent to each other. But um, yeah, it, it looks uh, it look it looks interesting. Like I said, his movies are always good, kooky, fun. They're they're shot well. I appreciate that. They're usually um. They're usually a good time. I, I don't think I've ever seen one of his movies and not like... Okay, I'm looking at my clock. How, long, how much more is left? Uh, uh, but I'm, I look for, I'm looking forward to this. If I had to give a rating for my anticipation, I'd probably put it at like a... Like a 7. <clears throat> 7.5. I, would probably, I won't probably see it day one. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably be there like... If not opening weekend, maybe the weekend after. Uh, but um, yeah, um, uh, that looked pretty interesting. That was the French Dispatch. Uh, uh, be sure to let me know how you guys feel about the French Dispatch in the comments down below. And um, if you haven't already, uh, be sure to uh, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, so you stay up to date on all my videos that I upload, and you never miss a a reaction or a a visual project <laughs> that I'm working on in the future. But, um, yeah. Uh, uh, until the next reaction, this is uh, me, Ego the Visual Culturist, signing out, and I'll see you guys next time.